to the 2020 June auction at the Kansas City Police Impound Lot. We're selling over 350 cars this month. Some of these cars have come in abandoned, some are stolen, uh, some were illegally parked, some come in on arrest, and some have been in an accident. Most of these have been in an accident. The owners of these vehicles do have the right to pay the impound fees and pick these vehicles up at any time, uh, up until we sell them. We're going to give you a quick overview of these vehicles. There's going to be a live in-person, like an in-person viewing on the second Monday. So if you're not able to attend that, or if you're not comfortable attending that, this video is really for you. I'm also going to go over an auction overview once we get started here, uh, just about how this process works, what the auction looks like, whether you should bid or not. Uh, and so with that, Let's get started. We're going to call out the auction numbers as we go. Uh, there's not a car for every number, so just be ready for that. There's going to be a list online that shows you, you know, what car is this, why is it here, and all that kind of stuff. And we'll have links to those on our website. All right, let's get started. Okay. So first, you've got lots 11 through 14. That's these first four here. We're going to kind of give you an overview. And then the second row here. lot 20 here I don't think we're gonna call these out individually like I said you got a list um, so just check that list this video is gonna be split in three parts and we're gonna start here at 20 and keep going and I'll go ahead and read those auction uh, terms while we're rolling let's think about uh, yep so you're gonna have uh, photos online as well in the auction listing you're gonna have a front and back photo so for this first row along the fence here um, in order to see the the back side and the other quarters of that vehicle uh, you'll want to go check out those photos. You'll have to go there anyways to bid on it. So um, we're going to ask you to do that to see the backs of just this row along the fence. And we're going to start, for the rest of these vehicles, you'll be able to see them front and back. So let's start with lot 20 here. And I'll pull up the, uh, uh, no, we're going to go front. Okay. Yeah, just kind of like we did last time. Okay. Yeah. Call out the numbers. Uh, I'm going to read off this uh, auction overview okay, here real quick. Uh, this is a this is a public resource as well. This is on our Twitter. There's a link to this on the auction website. And actually, the first ten lots of the auction are going to be the same items that I'm reading here. So uh, you don't have to try to come back and memorize what I'm saying here. The first thing you'll want to know is that this is, as I said, an abandoned auto auction at the city impound lot. You won't know if these vehicles run until after you buy them. Most don't have keys. All of the info that we have about these vehicles is on the website. This is the information that the uh, impound lot releases to us, and that's pretty much all we have on it. You, The second thing you'll want to know, this will be item number three on your auction list is that you won't get a title from us. The city impound lot will mail you a Missouri Abandoned Property Bill of Sale. That's a, uh, the Abandoned Property Bill of Sale is a Missouri Department of Revenue Form 4579. And you're gonna wanna make sure when you register to bid at our website that your address is correct, proper capitalization, spelling, uh, if you're not sure, grab a piece of mail or something and just do it however they did it. Um, because that information that you give us is what goes on that bill of sale, and that's what's going to end up on your title. So you just want to make sure it's right. 
there is also when you register there's a company field um, if you're buying as a dealer go ahead and put your dealership name in there you're buying for the dealership uh, if you're not buying for a dealership just put your first and last name in there uh, try not to leave it blank don't put self or self-employed or unemployed or anything like that um, whatever the way that this ends up working is whatever you put in that company field that's who the title gets made out to the next item I have here uh, you'll want to know that each bid you place is a binding and enforceable contract uh, so you can't retract any bids be very sure before you place that you know how much you got to spend and you're sure you want to place it there is a three-year ban for non-payment this ban may prevent you from bidding at all auctions on high bids website and we don't want that so make sure you're sure about your bid and make sure you pay for your bill the auction is going to open on the second Tuesday of every month it closes eight days after the second Tuesday and it may open before the second Tuesday but it will always close eight days after the second Tuesday these cars are going to close one lot at a time starting at 5 p.m. on that day and they'll close with a seven second stagger so they'll close one at a time seven seconds apart there's also a three minute soft close and what that means is if any bids come in the last three minutes before uh, you know, say we're on lot 75 here, say if any bids come in on that three minutes before that lot closes, it'll keep lot 75 open until three minutes pass with no bids, with no bid activity. I think last auction we had one vehicle that uh, a couple guys went back and forth on that for, it was well, it was well over an hour, um, and that was the only car that did that, however that prevents the, the entire auction from being complete. So you can expect everything to be done uh, based on these last two months. Everything should be closed by six.